For the record, I don't like the leg kick as a pitcher. I used to think every guy that had a leg kick was timing my fastball, so it threw me for a loop. But what I want to ask you is when did it start for you to become, you know, you get this contract because you offensively have gone to another level. And so congrats on the contract. Thank but you. when did it start? What was the evolution of the leg kick? Yeah, I've always kind of hit with a leg kick, even even starting in high school through college, and then through the years, it's kind of evolved into into what it is now. Uh, you know, one of the things I always thought with a leg kick was I wanted to stay back and let the ball get deep. And about three years ago, I kind of changed my whole mindset, mindset and uh, wanted to gain some ground and get forward and try to catch the ball in front, and that's allowed me to get the ball in the air more often and, and get the ball on the pull side a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to ask you to do a couple things. So in, in a pitcher's timing, the mechanics is really important, trying to get that timing and then being locked in. As a hitter, I want you to explain to me what you're looking to do with your leg kick and the timing of it and some of the things that you're doing. We're going to do soft toss. Yep. Tell me a little bit. I'm going to step out of the way. Tell me your process and what you're trying to get out of it. Yeah, well, you know, for me, timing's everything. Just like you said with the pitchers, it's all about being on time, uh, even being a little early as a hitter. So uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be on time for whatever your best fastball is. I want to be on time for that. So when I get in the cage here, uh, really trying to exaggerate, uh, getting forward, gaining some ground, and making sure I'm a little early rather than being late. So I'll take some flips real quick. And uh, you know, just pick it up nice and high, stay balanced, and get out there, try to catch everything out in front. And what I'm really looking for is just trying to backspin every single ball. So. so when the game comes around, how much of the games do you need to get you locked in with the timing of your leg? You know, you get 30, 40 at bats out there, and you kind of you know, pick up right where you, where you left off last season and, and get back in the flow of things. Do you find yourself in game reminding yourself or making any changes with your leg kick? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I found myself making adjustments in between pitches. Uh, you know, if something's a little off, you're feeling a little late, you know, you try to make that adjustment from pitch to pitch rather than from AB to AB or even day to day. That's where you find yourself in those 0 for 10, 0 for 20 slumps because you're unable to make an adjustment. So. so in a perfect world, when you get to camp, now you're almost veteran status. How many games, how many at-bats do you want? Uh, you know, at least 30, at least 30, 40 at-bats. Uh, this year's a little different with the WBC. We'll be here a while, so I'll probably get around 50, 60 at-bats and uh, be ready to go. Perfect. Well, you've calmed my fears. I don't have to worry about facing a leg kick anymore, and I appreciate you giving us an insight to that. And, uh, you know, maybe if I would have known what I knew now, it would have been easier pitching against a leg kick.